What's this? For you. It feels like shoes. Is that what it feels like? Oh, weird. It feels like shoes. Oh, snap. <gasps> you got them for me anyway. Oh, honey. You shouldn't have. <laughs> you don't even mean that. That's not true. You shouldn't mm. have. That's sweet of you. These ones are really cool. Yeah, the socks are dull. Yeah, they'll dye your socks. Oh, good. No more. Get the box. Thank you, Teddy. You're welcome. So sweet. Hey, get the box. I love you. <laughs> the whole Get the box. I would let you open what I got, like it showed up for you kind of in the mail, but I don't think it's appropriate for you to open it. That's cool. On camera. I'll open my cock ring later. Oh, <laughs> hey! Get off me. Yes, I'm up. Why are you on the front porch? How long have you been on the front porch? Not no. that long. I was just out there. No, like five minutes. I was running and I decided, why start the day at 11 when I can just come surprise you at 10.30? What Good up? You. Hi, There's, skinny, I'm really tiny, sweaty, skinny, so. tiny, earth. Yeah. We like to call him all earn. All earn? Yeah, the house is a little, uh... Nice. Disheveled. I do my best to, like, stay organized, keep organized, and then a woman always comes in and yeah. wrecks shit up. Um, every single time. Right? Honey? <laughs> what? Just say yes. You talk about how organized it was, and now you come and yeah, it's just came in. Oh, like, yeah. All time. Oh, things. I know. It's just your... I just a mess. <sighs> I got fucking um, gold pineapple fucking pillowcases now. All of a nice. So like that Wayne means Newton. welcome. So like Wayne Newton. Means welcome. Yeah, it means welcome in, in Hawaii. Hawaii. What a pineapple? Yeah, pineapple's an international sign for welcome. But... Pineapple's also an international sign of welcome. Yup, and makes your peace smell good. Wealth come. And they also boost your serotonin levels. Sam wanted you to. Uh, oh, I heard. I talked to him. I know. What do you say? I said sure. <laughs> what? There you go. You're holding it. Hey. Hey. There it is. Omar's dog watchers, little brothers clothing line. He wants you to know about you should just be wearing it. Why aren't you sponsored by them? You're the fucking man out here in these streets. I'm about to. There you go. Some Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think that's Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a Dragon Ball Z thing. This yeah. other one he told me was uh, Dragon Quest or Dragon. Mm -hmm. like Yo, this really glows in the dark, dude. I have Brandy under the sheets with it on. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, it really glows. No, I'm serious. Oh, no. Look. Look at this one outside. We forgot you, bud. Sorry. Oh, no. Adner, come on. Don't get caught in my trap, dog. Where are we going? To the car? The Yo, also, side note, I was almost attacked by a Rottweiler running over here. Let's get this ball. You be careful, all right? Did Teddy tell you the dog shit lady I've been trying to catch forever? Her dog takes huge shits in our courtyard. And every day, and Brandy saw her. Doesn't pick it up, and Brandy's like, it's this lady, she looks like this. I'm like, why didn't you say anything? She's like, oh, I didn't want to, I, I was nervous. So I'm like, I'm gonna fucking find her. I, I, I tell her, I'm gonna find the dog shit. So, um, the lady, the dog shit, she comes out around 11. So every day I'm walking the dogs around at a time, and I'm like, I'm gonna find this lady, I'm gonna fucking tell her off. Huge piles of shit, never picks him up. Yesterday, we're outside playing with the two dog and I see the dog come, coming out slow and I see it looking around and Brandy's like that's the dog and I'm like oh my god this is the lady I can't wait and like I have my camera ready I'm like I'm gonna film her with the dog shitting I'm gonna tell this lady how I fucking feel and be like I have this shit all on film the lady comes around the corner I see her I'm like oh it's on and then I see her blind walking cane and I see her come out. This lady's blind the whole time. I'm ready to fucking tell her off, and that's why she's not picking up the dog shit. That though in turn does pose a good question. If you're blind, do you not have to pick up the dog? So then there's gotta be, s I understand that that they gotta, that they can't see it. Should we just kill them all? No, no. Right, if I go out there at night and I step, this dog shit. Then don't go out, over there. You don't know where it's gonna be. She moves around. Listen. Why don't you be a good Samaritan and pick the dog shit up when you see it and just help a blind lady? Be the change you I thought of that world, option, though. but then I would recommend that she gets a smaller seeing eye dog. What if it has to help her or drag her out? She could get a chihuahua, drag her into the kitchen when she has a stroke? <laughs> She's not going to have a stroke. She's just blind. You don't know. Not... You don't know what other people are going through. And yeah, you don't but... know who can see, so shut the fuck yeah. up. You know, maybe I'll pick up the dog shit for her. What a nice thing. And then I'm like, it's just way too big, dude. You just do it and then bill her. Like, bitch can't see, someone else is paying her bills, someone will pay her. Oh, that's a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Dude, my only problem is at night in the courtyard, there's no lights, and I walk out there and I step in dog shit. And there's how many just, times have you stepped? In one place? time I left my shoes. I left it wasn't my the same dog. No, not that place. Okay, no. so how many times have you stepped in that dog shit? That yeah. dog shit, not yet, but okay, it's close. It's never happened. I've <laughs> stepped in dog shit in that courtyard. It wasn't that dog shit. But if I stepped in that dog shit, it would be up to my ankle. I was hit by a car. Does that mean that every car is gonna hit me? No. 
Alex, that was amazing in the woods. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you guys find some common bond. That You're was... fucking getting lost. Yeah, really... I felt the struggle. Did you, did you watch last night? Did you see how the road, that dirt road that we lived on? Yeah. Purely similar to the one no, we were trapped on at no. night. It does Not actually continue course. through to Not the highway. Yes, that road, Weird. that road does continue onto the, another, another road. paved road. Not a highway. It yeah. continues onto another paved road. I, Hold on. Which connects to a highway? What? Yeah, it, it does finally connect. That's fine, Alex, that you have one road in America that connects to there two There are many roads. We're talking there. about one, because these are our reality. One road we went down we know for a fact connects to a fucking another paved road. Other one does not, and you proved it to yourself. I didn't. And you I didn't still, now you just have a fucking dumb theory that- Where's this banana laughing? She would have kept going. She would have kept going now that she would have found a road. I'm like, you're out of your, what, where? If I had taken that other- I You would have been a bird. Talk one day we're going to take a camping trip to that same same spot, the four of us, and we're gonna hike through, and we're gonna Whoa, find we're what. We don't need to hike, Ernie. We'll be able to drive. All the way <laughs> no, through. the fuck. I don't even understand the logic. The if logic it wasn't was dark, off. he wouldn't have been scared. If it had been light outside, and oh, I can see even further. I can see even more clear that you're actually ridiculous. There's no fucking way through here at all. Let me ask you though. When we were on two drive, if you had never been there before, would you have thought that had gone all the way through to something? Yes, I would have. There was fucking homes. There were people who were alive. There was a car, another car. There, if my car broke down, there was somewhere I could walk and call them. Yeah, I started yeah. seeing halfway through the first video that it wasn't going to make We have to go back. This is a relationship tip. Learn to pick your battles. Just let this crazy fucking chick pick the fucking woods That's go into a highway. I don't Someone just got too scared and we had to turn around. <laughs> I didn't get too scared. I didn't yes, want to fucking did. be in the woods. Yeah. You're such a fucking... It's not... This is amazing. I said I didn't want to watch Blair Witch because I don't like Blair Witch. You said it was too scary. <laughs> I've seen Blair Witch. You're so oh my full god. Shit. Oh my god. I You're, love it. This girl's ridiculous. Wait, because oh, I want to hit the Laffy Taffy. There is no Laffy Taffy. Banana bread. Banana punch? Everybody's been telling me I gotta hit it. How about these embroidered shirts? They're great. Nice. Yeah, she got here last night and like already redid downstairs completely. The bed's in like a new place. Shower curtains. Nice. I don't know. Bachelor life is over. It's over with. The Versace robe is hung up on the door. Done. We can do a contest for it. Yeah. Man, speaking of contests. <laughs> Look at people so fucked up. You really do. Oh, it's you so got funny. people hitting me and they're just like, dude, so am I? I gotcha. The effort. That some people are putting, which is what I wanted. I'm just, yeah. Entire, like, people keep being like, hey man, is the contest over? You would know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't want to do giveaways. Like, my biggest pet peeve about giveaways is that people do that shit. Farm followers. Come follow me for my giveaway. Like, I don't want to do that. I want to yeah. give the shit to someone that watches the channel. I don't give a fuck if that means I'm an asshole. I don't care if it. No, I think know. that's a good way to do it. All right, so we can't find the microphone. I'm uh, working on the drop. We have a lookbook dropping tomorrow. Friends and family sign up is up. Oh, it's teddy.com. You have till noon tomorrow to sign up. If you already signed up, you're cool. But if you haven't, then you're not. Well, you're probably, you're cool, I'm sure, but you're not cool as far as contractual agreement goes. If you want to sign up, oh, it's teddy.com. You have till noon tomorrow, mountain time. Omar's being crazy as usual. And Alex has already decided that she's going to clean the entire house. Well, today we're at kitchen. This is making probably a lot of people happy. For all you obsessive compulsive of the folks out there rejoice here we are de decluttering the artistic clutter that is my existence or i like to make gestural marks upon the world this is how i live dog just got organized this apparently these are all things she says she has to do these are all things i will but you say you have to do i have to make it clear that i'm not saying you need to do these things oh no 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 yeah. this is my choice oh i have a package too and Ern's on his way back. That's what's going on. Oh, and the public drop is Saturday. So public drop Saturday at noon mountain time for the previous stuff that friends and family are all getting pretty much gotten. I've seen international orders get delivered already. So if you haven't gotten yours, it should be there very soon. That is the public drop on Saturday where you can get like this hoodie, the 3M rumor and rules and the glow in the dark, all that jazz. It's all on the site right now, actually. Also, oh, it's teddy.com coming soon. Oh, I don't know these are the shorts that I left. Nice. This is Alex's charger. They sent this because they thought it was yours. That looks lovely. Found, she found another lady's top. It's from Thank Abercrombie you. and Fitch. Sure. Your nipples will show through it. Hell yeah. Okay, so that was not that exciting. I knew we got it. White shorts found. Still missing the red shorts. Get back to the drawing bird. Bird. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to the drawing board and wait for Arn. You went home and put on your embroidered t-shirt because you know that I was wearing mine. Mine's horizontal. It's the last thing I want to do is bring Rusty's ass to the fucking... Like a white trash water park. Yeah, is it? 
All water parks. All water parks. All water parks are white trash. Sorry, folks. Oh, man. Did you hear? Did you see the Adidas armored truck? No. So, Cousteau, Jacques, you know, you've met him before. Jacques Cousteau? His name's not Jacques Cousteau. Slade. Yeah. They sent him an armored car to his house. Gave him a big ass metal, huge locked box, and then inside was a pair of fucking Ultra Boost Multicolor 2.0. My voice pretty much tells you the. Yeah. Like, and I said that the entire shoe world's on Xanax. Because, oh. yeah, my man's chilling. And there's just so much weird shit going on. They, they, they did see through Jordans. Like, you can see through to see the Jordan. It's just like one of those sneaker shields, you know, from fucking sneaker. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? 2.0 thing, too. It's just a weird. But why an armored car for a fucking shoe? That because most that's what I say. Is that the joke? Like, I feel yeah. like it's a joke. That's not the way it's presented. I, it's I get it. Talking about it's the unvaulted series and how they're unvaulting some of the things that, that oh. went, like, went away. It wasn't like, even that grand. That's what I'm saying. That shoe wasn't even hard to get, like, the week after release. Space for rent. Can't see who to call. I'm going to go in the clock's place tomorrow. There. One block up. There's another strip mall, same thing with like a fucking empty. There's a lot of these empty little spots. Yeah, actually. Check them. It's, just, it's just a weird mark. My thing with it is that's whatever. Like it's cool, I guess. It doesn't make any sense. There's so many shoe releases they do where they give you no information about anything at all, and then they just do this big ass hoopla about fucking an ultra boost that has already released, come and gone. And you know what I think it is? I really think it's how we talk about how corporate is so far behind. Like, oh, yeah, corporate... Of course, of course it is. is That's catching, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, that armored car 2.0 would have been fucking cool a year and a half. No, ago. it wouldn't have been because it doesn't make any fucking sense. There's no reason to put any shoe in an armored car. It's a charade. Like, trying to make some fucking big deal out of yes. the show. I do agree with that, but okay. what I'm saying is it at least would have had more relevance. No, like, it would have had relevance if they had explained the fact that that fucking multi color shoe is supposed to be the fireworks for the fucking Olympics and done something in that fucking realm that made goddamn sense. Is that what it was? Yes. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, don't do it. Dude. Oh, God. So it? He's always... Yes, we agree that the marketing department has their head way far yeah. up their fucking corporate ass when everybody's like, well, what is this shoe all about? Like, why not put marketing money into that instead yeah. of pulling an armored car up to a YouTuber's house so that you can just use the channel to announce that there's a restock coming. Basically, just using it. And it's a big, not even that relevant. And it's not that big of a fucking. No, it's a huge channel. <laughs> it's enormous. He oh. gets the most views out of anybody out here. So I don't know where that part came from. That, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong guy. At all of the sneaker cons? Who, I gotta have to look him up. Okay. Did he fucks with Tony? I'm done talking to you about this. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. We're not talking about this anymore. I just don't know who the guy I is. I literally am on stage with him at every sneaker con I've ever been to. Oh, the guy that's uh, it's on the other side of things, on the Jordan side? That guy? No. The guy that MCs it? Like, he's the yes. host. I thought it's that white kid Ray sometimes. No. I think I know who we're talking okay. about. I have to see a picture. Cool. But, um... <laughs> He gets sent all stuff, all, the most stuff from uh, all the brands. He's the most regular sneaker review channel. He's not a yeah. blogger. He just does like sneaker reviews. Yeah. And unboxings. That's what his channel is. He's very professional with his channel. You know who he is. Yeah. You have had conversations with him. You're an insane human being. I just, I. I missed you. Can't picture things. Hey, that's what's wrong with my brain. It's like, uh, you know, like how some people, they have a photographic memory. Well, I'm out of film. <laughs> <laughs> I got a photographic memory, but the batteries are dead. The flash doesn't work, and I got no film. You know what I'm saying? This is before digital. <laughs> We're running 35 millimeter up here. <laughs> I want to write a book on the internet. I realized it playing Fortnite. The you played Fortnite the entire time I was gone. I know it. Like, a lot. I played... You played a lot. More than I've ever played. You seem like a way weirder person now. Mm -hmm. Like, someone who's been gaming a lot more. No, it's not as much as like you Like, you've think. had less sunlight. No, that's not true either, because I've done a lot of... I ran 45 miles in the, in the week. 45 miles. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I haven't run 45 I, miles in my entire life. It was a lot. But I did game because there were some days... I and you couldn't move your legs because you ran 45 miles. <laughs> Yeah. But in a bar, <laughs> you're face to face, so I think people are nice. But some people are shitheads. Oh yeah, they definitely can be. But I think when you're anonymous, more people are shitting. It's because they suppress the shitheadedness everywhere else. Yeah. And then they come online. That's why I'm a shithead everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it 100. That's the way to do it. Full pulse. I like that.
But the but the, the kid who offered help and was like super nice, I start thinking it's really strange. It's someone I'll never talk to this guy again. He's some fucking kid in some game room, but he was nice enough to not be a complete douche when he could have been. Because the energy to be pleasant is way less exhausting. You feel is like it? a pleasant. God, person. some of these kids seem like some of those like kids. It's like pent up aggression. It's pent up aggression. It's like when you're a kid and you get to the playground, and you're just like fuck shit, fuck. I know. My kids draw dicks. And the one kid just keeps reciting like XXX lyrics. He's just like, look at me, fuck at me, look at. Me. Just like this is what it is to be a kid. Is this what I was like? Like yeah. I, I know I had to. You really... still are. You're the kid in the fucking <laughs> thing that's doing the same with Kodak Black. You're just sitting there going. Da, 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 da. Well, I can't remember a Kodak Black lyric, so I can't remember. No, the one. best part is that the, the whole time I have my mic off, I'm not fucking talking to these assholes. What conversation can I have with like two dead years? And then they keep because they keep killing me. Like I, because in the playground you can join the other squad and you play against them, but you can hear the people on the other team. So they're killing me. They're going, you suck, you fucking piece of shit, you puss. Finally, I get a kill. I turn to the mic and I go, sniper gang, bitch. <laughs> and I was like, what? Did he say sniper gang? That dude sounds old. They trolled me. They killed me. They, they knew it was your first day on Xbox Live. What else is interesting is the unwritten rules. The unwritten ethics. Yes. What are like, those? if they shoot you and you drop all your weapons, in the battleground area, you don't pick up someone else's weapons and take them. You let the guy spawn and get his weapons back oh. because I guess that's the fun of there. You're supposed to be able to get your shit back and come right into I battle. But I'm saying that's rule is nowhere, but that rule, I guess, a posty says probably from Twitch streamers always when they go in there, they play with these rules so people see them and go, this is the rules of this area. But of course, me. No, I ain't following the rules. <laughs> I killed that kid. I took his whole fucking stash and I hear him in the mic, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's not how we play. Sniper gang, bitch. Is this funny and amazing? Or who the fuck am I? I'm 36 trolling like two 13-year-olds. He goes, all right, old man, what do you do? Sitting here playing video games. I said, oh, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, okay. And then he checked the channel. Then the whole thing You're using changed. my fucking channel yeah. for clout on Xbox 360. <laughs> they think I'm my name's Teddy, bitch. Really? No, I'm like, yo, I'm Dirty Earn. <laughs> this whole gaming world is hilarious. Dude. Oh, my God. Dude, I, look at this dude. Oh, shit. He's fucking dabbing. On the fucking side of the road. There's dude, no way I got it. My God. <laughs> there was a homeless guy with a fucking four-foot glass bong. Hang the fucking camera it. out the window. Ah, uh, the car. Cars are in the way. Wait. <laughs> Can we zoom in? Is he? I'm sorry. I'm ready to go back around and take a rip off his bomb. We'll get weed and on the way back. I'll Hit him like, off with a dab. Yeah. It's amazing. That dude did just light up a fucking pipe on the side of the road. That, he carries that heavy ass glass piece. <laughs> Homeless or not. Yeah, it's man, like it's... a four foot fucking. Yeah. No new Pharrell's for you? You didn't get the Afro pack? No. Because you weren't pack. around. <laughs> Although they seem like he could have just walked into a store and got them. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Saying. I don't know. Mine are on the way. But they're waiting to ship them with the ACOGs or whatever. Nice. Something else I was wondering, the creams that they're re-releasing, mm. are they gonna be Continental Solo now or are they gonna? Yeah, I thought you were talking about the Yeezys at first. But... I see all that news too though, yeah. all the white Yeezys. You still gonna do that run? We can get them. Yeah, that'd be cool to do. Especially now with that kind of restock. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, it's gonna fucking make the custom game just ridiculous. If people can get white Yeezys for fucking retail or yeah. even less, people are just gonna go off. The white and <clears throat> neon green climacles are 109 bucks at the mall. White. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. You know, there's like also something that needs to be said about the fact uh, this Nicki Minaj shit that's going on. Oh, yeah. You know, like, and her tour is basically selling so poorly that breaks dog that they might cancel the tour because she's not selling out these arenas or whatever it's all fun and games and everything everybody's joking but it, every shoe almost goes on sale concerts aren't selling out does the word recession ever come yeah. in anybody's fucking yeah. mind it's not always about like, like oh bro people ain't interested in this it's, not, it's like no like these big companies yeah, are just flooding the market with product because they have to keep up with their big company profile people can't afford this shit it is what it is you gotta pay attention outside of the little bubble a little fucking fishbowl well Hype bowl, oh, yeah. hype fish. So after this, you're just getting this together, and he's getting this together, and then what? But all yeah, me and Scruff are working on it all day. I just need to like figure out what I want to embroider and what I don't want to embroider. Just gotta pick garments. When I get home, I've gotta fix all of the graphics real quick, like the little touch-ups yeah. and shit that need. Oh god, that need to happen. He's gonna finalize them. I gotta pick all the colors, and then he's gotta do that the mock-up. Yeah, so I should have the mock-up by tonight. 
tomorrow. So, and as soon as I get them tomorrow morning, my whole focus will be get them online and then we'll put them up. Yeah, the cutoff to sign up is noon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, we'll send out the lookbook sometime afternoon. And they'll have till Monday to order. So that gives them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm feeling wild. I'm feeling like taking that camera on 16th Street. Just running down 16th Street. I'm just talking to fucking random weirdos. The lady was just looking at the Lime bike like all close. I'm like, Excuse me, ma'am. You should get a little ride. lime green sash and we should have you just walk around Dude, and pretend to be the thinking. lime instructor. That's We'd be like, oh, ma'am, you need a little help getting started? I'm the, I'm the lime instructor. <laughs> it's not even a real job. Uh, lime assistance is it needed. It gets real creepy at yeah. the end of the day when they tell their friends, like, I had a lime instructor. Yeah. And they're like, there's, there's no lime, lime instructor. instructor. She's You're... like, there definitely was. She <laughs> rode around the city with me for an hour. We're at Natty Rems. They're closing down. We walked around. We couldn't get in the front door. It's like we're going to the back entrance. How you doing? Nice. You guys clean the windows? Yeah. Oh shit. Shanghai massage open. Now it looks even shadier it's at the back door. Oh level. shit. Good, how are you? Good. And we feel like we're buying weed, dog. <laughs> I agree with you 100% that Alex is wrong in that situation. There's no way. You just won't way. do a say in front of her. I did. I... She doesn't believe it. Doesn't she definitely it? does not believe it. No, she doesn't care. Her power of belief is amazing. Hesitate there, it's really confusing. What's up, you freaky bitches? We're smoking a joint. Yeah, but outside, not near the shirts. Oh my damn! Look at this drawer! You guys brought all that wax with you. <laughs> hey, bro. Chill. Yes, we did. I'm not that impressed with the organization of this cabinet, really. I haven't organized. <laughs> I barely got to cleaning off the surfaces, my love. Oh, my bad. Does my creative genius bother you? No, I love no. it. Glad. Bring it. We'll have to revisit joint rolling. Oh, shit. I rolled that. Yeah. yeah. A little too long in Cali. Yeah, you having someone else roll up for it. <coughs> that might be it. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so I have got to, ooh, the answer is right there. I have got to get back to work. I gotta finish the drop and stuff and get with scruff and get all this done, pink colors, blah, 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 blah. The day, as far as the vlog, is over. I don't think I have anything else to report. I think you guys have been caught up to speed. I'm home. Life's somewhat back to normal. Water park this weekend. Friends and family tomorrow. Lookbook. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. All right, that's the day. Love y'all. Peace.